it, so <laughs> yeah, he's got a little bit more to go. Is, uh, so we're going to check out the next match. Here we go. It's Necromantic. All right. Yeah, he is in Losers now. Yeah, so we got Necromantic and Quillix. Oh, Quillix. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Yeah, I know um, I play a lot versus Necromantic's well, Forte. So he's got Hugo. <laughs> he's got a really good knowledge on Hugo. And CJ, he's still in that, like, it, when his Hugo is, if things aren't working out, he, everything turns everything turns uh, pretty much, like, too much of an uphill battle. He start, he'll just start doing random stuff and he'll hang himself. Uh, I think uh, Seth may be a better choice here. Just so he can, you know, get out of certain shenanig shenanigans and use some of his own. But we'll see. Maybe he's practiced this match. I it mean, one of the things to say, though, is that Seth obviously has very low health. And that's bad against Fuerte, because especially now that Fuerte can do even more damage than before. But um, Hugo, that's the one good thing, is that he can take a few hits. But it's just going to be hard for him to lock Fuerte down. So yeah, you're right. It looks like he is going to go with Seth. I'm curious to see what CJB Kulix's goal is going to be. Is he going to try to rush Necromantic down, or is he going to try to play a defensive game? Well, the, the cool thing with uh, Seth here is he can change the trajectory, and that's always good versus El Forte. Oh, nice. Faded about the uppercut. And look at this. Run, stop, fierce. Seven hits total. Good damage. Got him? Did you get him? Oh, jump off, off the, the wall. wall. Yeah, uh. you always have to remember that. Characters that can change their trajectory in the air. So useful. Ooh. Barely got him. And he's going to be able to get a mix-up. What's the mix-up? Oh, he gets oh. out of there. Oh, my. You, you know what? If CJ knew that... If that was premeditated, if he knew that was the right punish, kudos because that looked clean. I don't know about you, but that chase was looked really clean to me. <laughs> it did. Yeah, it did. Did he do that on purpose? He, we don't know. I'm gonna ask him. I gotta ask him because that that was so that was so sick. Yeah, the biggest problem, of course, is that the EX quesadilla bomb recovers so fast on whiff, so very hard to whiff punish that move. Wow, just gets out of there using the EX Q bomb to go through the fireball. Get all the way to the across the screen. Doesn't even have to worry about the mix up anymore. Now Necromantic. Yep, chilling on the other side of the screen. Oh yes, good 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 damage there. Using the two bars on the FADC to make sure he gets even more damage. But there's that EX case. Oh wow. <laughs> what? Oh, what the hell? Oh no, and then he dashed in the propeller tortilla. Oh. Yeah, one of the dangerous things, you gotta remember when you go up against Fuerte now, now with EX Q Bomb, it doesn't matter. Left or right mix ups don't work on him anymore. Because the same command is gonna work no matter what side you put him on. So you kinda have to keep that in mind when you try to lock him down on his wake up. So Necromantic taking game one. Yeah, um. <laughs> oh, alright, we got some Twitter action. So we got uh, watching WNF on your Xbox One from North Carolina. All right, shout outs to Chris Benson. I see you. It's one of the things that you can watch Twitch on your uh, on your home console nowadays. Can you imagine that if, if like I heard that guy's homebrew was was fake, by the way, the DC. Remember that? <laughs> so I mean that we're old school so anything the dc we're like oh we, we believe that <laughs> we believe it because <laughs> dude, the, the dreamcast was so ahead of its time so, i mean Remember david asked last week is it can be creative but does it have to be you know authentic <laughs> yeah oh nice chase down jump strong and it stay in front oh but drops a combo but fortunately no punish he still has forte in the corner that's key but Gotta watch out for that EX Quesadilla Bomb, especially because that's so much damage. I think it's like 200 damage. Set, that's already almost a fourth of your life on one EX Q Bomb. Air to air meetup. But Necromantic gets the better of it. Off the wall. And then Whoa. another EX Q Bomb. Jeez. Wow. 
You really have to be, keep that move in mind. That move is so scary and much easier to react to things because it's just letting go of a button. You don't even have to put any joystick motions in there, so very easy to punish things with that. Oh, oh wow, nice. Nice That's reset. And last time he landed that jump fierce, he got run stop low forward and then he ran away. So that time, uh, Kulix was probably thinking he was going to do the same thing. So good change up to the cross up splash. Ooh, tried to chase him down, but nice back dash from Kulix and he's going to get some good damage. But then there's that EX Quesadilla bomb, which CJB Kulix just never respected. He never, ever really just. He never baited it. He never thought that that was happening. So, yeah, I, I advise um, CJ to use Hugo. I, I mean, he's got to learn how to be really patient. You know, like that's why he picks Seth. Seth, he likes he likes to have control or go nuts, right? Right. He takes he takes advantage of people when he uses Hugo when they don't know the matchup. That's why he can get away with like knee, low jab, clap, clap. But versus players that know how to keep him away, know how to play that matchup, he'll run to Seth because he just likes total control. If he learns how to keep that 99 second composure that Justin does and all the other greats that know when to go in, I think he would fare much better because once Hugo knocks down El Fuerte, it's it's really hard for El Fuerte to, like, to get away safely. Back I mean, that, how do you yeah. usually do against Fuertes when you play Hugo online? Oh, I do really well. Just because I know the matchup. I know, okay, 